Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, this happens to be a system. And if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're gonna to have to know how to solve systems. And I'm saying in this particular system, this is really what we call a two variable linear system. Again, stuff that you're gonna definitely need to know for algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, any sort of algebra course. But I'm saying here that there is no solution to this system, okay? But why? The answer is obvious if you've been paying attention to your algebra teacher, okay? So when you look at this, hopefully you can identify and tell me uh, immediately why this has no solution, okay? So if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. Of course, I'm gonna go over this thoroughly. This is something you absolutely need to understand to be successful in algebra. So stick around for a minute or two and we'll talk about exactly why this system has no solution. Okay, but uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video, but if you're struggling with mathematics, I've been teaching math for decades, and I really have a teaching style of less like teaching like a textbook and more like explaining it in easy to understand everyday language, okay? So I really break things down in super clear and understandable ways. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out with your respective math courses. If you're preparing for any sort of test that has a math section on it, examples would be like the GED or SAT. I have a huge catalog of test prep courses that can help you out. And uh, if you homeschool, we were just voted number one for middle and high school mathematics and homeschooling. So definitely check out, uh, by the way, that was by a national publication. Definitely check out my homeschool math courses. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math uh, notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get back to our problem. So why doesn't this uh, solution have a, uh, or why doesn't this system have a solution? Okay, let me give you a hint. Uh, you can look at uh, this, this, and this, and this, okay? <laughs> That's kind of, you're like, well, you just highlighted the whole problem. Well, yes, I did. But I'll talk more about uh, uh, why this has no solution in a second. All right, let's just go do a basic review of systems, okay? So it's a system, just draw a little x, y plane here in a real quick. So if you look right here, this happens to be a line, okay? Just think of that y equals mx plus b. So you could actually graph this line. This is another line. So basically, uh, a system, a two variable a linear system, the type of stuff that you uh, learn in algebra one, are basically two lines, okay? Now, I have these uh, linear equations written in this form, but they can come in all types of different flavors, but just think of them as two lines. Now, if I graph two lines, on an xy plane, what are the different scenarios that can uh, occur? Well, I could graph one line, then I can graph another line like this. And uh, typically, uh, if you graph two lines and they cross, okay, right there, that is the what? Well, that is the solution to the system. This point, this uh, precise xy point, is the solution to the system. So for example, if I had like x plus y equals seven, and 3x minus, uh, uh, let's put something down here, y equals 2, I guarantee you that these two lines will cross at some point, some xy point. That specific xy point where they intercept is the solution to the system. Okay, so you need to graphically understand what's going on here. So this is one scenario, and if the two lines do intercept, your system will have a solution. But that's not the only kind of outcome you can have when it comes to two lines. What if I have a line like this and another line like this? Okay, now I'm trying to draw two lines that have that are, are parallel to one another, right? So if this line and this line never cross, okay, uh, will they have a solution? Well, I just told you that in order for a system to have a solution, they must cross. If lines never cross, okay, that system will not have a solution. So when you have two different lines, okay, that are parallel, okay, they're gonna have the same exact slope, their M, their slope will be the same, but they'll have different Y-intercepts, okay? Different Y-intercepts, same slope, but different Y-intercepts. That's one way to kind of think about it. And you're gonna have two lines that will not cross. So that is when you're not gonna have a solution. And then there's one other scenario as well, 
is where a system can have an infinite number of solutions. So that is if you have one line and then another line that actually uh, just sits right on top of that other line. Here you have infinite, infinite uh, many uh, points of intersection. Okay, so these are our three uh, situations uh, where two lines cross, you have one line on top of another line, and then you have two lines that are parallel. Okay, so uh, not every system is going to have a solution and you need to understand these different, um, you know, uh, possible outcomes. So let's get to our problem here. And if I said graph these lines, you would say, uh, okay, y equals uh, 2x plus 1, because I know you know how to graph lines. Here is the y-intercept on this line. This would be 1. It has a slope of 2. So these are just rough sketches. So let's call this right here y equals 2x plus 1. And now this line has the same slope. This line and this line have the exact same slope, set, uh, same angle. But here, its y-intercept is negative 3. So we start... This line of negative 3 has a slope of 2, so you can see we have uh, uh, two lines with the exact same slope, but they're going through the y-axis at different points. They're never going to cross. This is no solution. Okay, so why doesn't the system have um, a solution? Well, you could put down, hey, they are parallel to one another, right? If you put something like that down in your comment section, that is excellent. But let's take a look at this algebraically. Let's suppose that we're like, okay, um, I'm gonna solve this problem. I'm not sure uh, if they cross or not. So here I'm saying y is equal to 2x minus three. So if y is equal to this, I can substitute this y here with this stuff. Cause I'm saying y is equal to this. So I could substitute this y with 2x minus three. That's called the substitution method. So let's try to solve this algebraically. So let's replace this y with 2x minus three. So you end up with 2x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, so let's try to solve this equation. So it's got our variables to the left-hand side, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I get 2x minus 2x is 0. And if I add the 3 to this side of the equation, okay, I'm just kind of doing some rough work here, I end up with this crazy-looking thing that's uh, 0 is equal to 4. 0 is equal to 4, all right? That makes no sense, okay? So zero is equal to four. Anytime you end up, uh, when you're trying to do the substitution method or linear combination method, you end up with a situation like zero is equal to four, one is equal to seven, where it's a false statement, okay? Especially if the variables go away. This is a, uh, this right here is an equation with no solution. And you're gonna end up with something funny like this. So this right here is algebraically uh, telling you that this system has no solution and there's a fancy name that goes along with this and that's called an inconsistent system all right so systems that have uh solutions are called consistent uh, uh systems systems that do not have a solution like in this particular problem is called inconsistent okay so you need to know that little uh, word it will uh, show up uh, so inconsistent and consistent systems okay so hopefully this has bolstered or strengthened your knowledge of systems. But if you knew all this already, I must say, uh, wow, I'm impressed. Let me give you happy place an A plus, uh, 100%. Matter of fact, just take the rest of the year off. If you're in my algebra class, I'd be like, here, I'll just send you your report card now. Uh, keep watching that guy on YouTube because you're obviously doing something right. So nice job, okay? But for uh, those of you out there that were like, hmm, actually learned something, well, consider uh, smashing that like button and helping me out. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over 1,000 plus math videos, basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So please take advantage of all the videos that I make. I really do try to help all of you out there uh, get through mathematics. Nobody should be failing math. Okay, If you're willing to put in the right work, what you need is a math teacher that you like and understand, and I like to be that person for you. But just remember, my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.